Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Jazzwares AEW Unmatched, excuse me, Series 3, John Silver. So yeah, John Silver, AEW Unmatched Series 3, that's a better way to put it. But uh, yeah, this is a figure that surprisingly, I've been looking for for quite some time. I was looking for a good price on it, and I finally found a good one on eBay. Didn't really want to buy it loose. I wanted to kind of have it in the packaging and make sure that it was sturdy and whatnot. But uh, yeah, aside from Anna J, this is the... Uh, the, really the only figure that I needed for my whole Dark Order collection. I pretty much already have this entire wave. So yeah, what is that wave? What is the wave we're talking about? Well, on the back here, if you were curious, that's what's going on. We got Johnny Hungy right there. And this whole wave of Series 3 was Brody Lee, Stu Grayson, Evil Uno, John Silver, and Anna J. Anna J. I think it's just Anna J. All Dark Order members. Rest in peace to Brody Lee, of course. And Stu Grayson is out of the company now. So, yeah. But regardless, let's get him out of the packaging and see what's going on. All right. Rip him out of here. Let's see what we got going on. We also have some trading cards, too. So that'll be kind of fun to see what we get. So I'm going to take those out first, actually. So we don't forget about them. We'll put those off to the side. And let's rip Johnny Hungy out of here. All right. Okay, so there we go, folks. John Silver, Johnny Hungy, as MJF puts it, out of the box, still in the packaging. And he comes with some pretty cool accessories. So let's get him out of there. All right. We'll do the cards last because I actually want to see what we get. I'm kind of hoping for a Mox card. That'd be nice. But let's see what we get. So he's got a bunch of hands. Extra head sculpt as well. And the figures. I'll give Kyle Peterson some love. See you later. Beautiful. Okay, so let's uh, stand him up. And yes, they got the size right. That is beautiful. Let's see if he stands on the felt. And uh, not really. Maybe I can finagle it a little bit more. Let's find out. And I'll, okay, I'll just lead him up back there. Okay, so there you go. John Silver. We'll take a look at the accessories first, and then you guys can get a better picture of the uh, figure. So the hands that he has equipped are going to be the standard Lego Man grappling hands. He's got those, and we'll look at those. But he also comes with a pair of fists, something that is very rare now with uh, the A, or I guess it used to be rare, with the AW figures having a pair of uh, fists. I feel like they only came with one hand, and why is it not focusing? Do I have to bring it closer? What's going on? All right, well, they're, they're fisted hands. They're fisted hands, and one of them I just lost, so there we go. Beautiful. You guys get the picture, though. And then the other hand that he does come with is going to be the Dark Order kind of, like, signal hand. You know, you put it up, I am part of the Dark Order. So there you go. You got that. Very, very nice. Sorry about it being blurry, but you guys get the picture. You guys get the picture. Very gorilla over here on Navigator's Collectibles. And then finally, we do have an extra head sculpt. Him kind of being happy, yelling, whatever it is, kind of doing. He's doing his little flexing move regardless. But yeah, so there you go, an extra head sculpt. And then finally... Let's take a look at the figure itself. So this is really cool. Uh, we'll start at the top this time. Let's start at the top. That's the head sculpt. Very basic one. He's kind of got a little uh, little menacing whatever going on. A little scowl. That's the word I'm looking for. And then, yeah, moving down, you can see here on the torso, he's got this really nice jacket. And we'll take a look at the back really fast. Or, excuse me, in a second. Torso looks good. I think that might be like the MJF kind of torso. I don't know. But I love that purple there on the trunks. And I really wish this would focus. There you go. Love that purple there. That's super, super cool. And moving down here on his knee pads, one of them does have the Dark Order symbol there. Kind of reminds me of Hydra. And then he's got the black boots and kick pads. And then uh, let's see if he's got anything on the back of the trunks there. Yeah, silver. He's got silver right there. You guys can kind of see it there. There you go, silver. And then on the back of this kind of... Uh, cut off duster he's got dark order silver there's these little trails down here and then those are kind of the same on the front and uh, yeah i guess last thing i could say is he does have some black wrist tape but i do need to find out i do need to find out what his uh muscles are like and a little pause on that i know it's a little weird but john silver's whole thing is that you know he's got these massive arms and he throws them up and flexes them we'll kind of just do a a rough draft for here real quick excuse me real quick not real quick like the, what's his name? The guy that hunts uh, Bugs Bunny. But there you go. That's perfect. Uh, not really in the best position, but you can see that those biceps are still pretty big. So very accurate. That was really the number one thing I was looking for for this figure. And on top of that, the stature is very nice as well. Let's see what other figures are in frame here. You can see I got Brian Danielson sitting down there. And John Silver is just a tiny bit taller than Brian Danielson sitting down. So they got the height great on this. He is a short king, but yeah. There you go, folks. And uh, let's finally get into these trading cards, and then we can wrap it all up. So I'm going to prop John up right there. Let's see what we got. Okay. we use my handy-dandy blade here and kind of cut that open so we don't bend anything. 
and let's see what we're working with. I know, I'm just as, uh, just as pumped up as you guys are. Okay, all right. Let's drag these out of here. All right. I don't know where to put that over there. I don't know where to put that. Okay. What do we got here first? Powerhouse Hobbs. Beautiful. We got a Will Hobbs card. And uh, he looks a little bit different now. I guess this is from when he first uh, debuted. But there you go. What else do we have here? Uh, the Young Bucks. A tag team card. So there you go. I hate the Young Bucks. But there you have it. Ooh. One of my favorites. Dax Harwood. That is great to have. Love that. Member of FTR. And of course, tomorrow night on Collision, he does have a really cool a cage match with uh, the, uh, the House of Black. So there you go, folks. John Silver. We got some cards as well. I feel like three. I feel like I got more in some of the other packs as opposed to just three cards, but whatever. To each their own, but there you go. Finally, kind of completing my Dark Order collection. If you were curious, I'll move the camera. You can see Brody Lee right there. He's got Stu Grace and an Evil Uno right behind him. So, yeah, we're going to finish that up. And uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to stop rambling. But there you go, folks. Uh, AEW Series 3, John Silver. And that, of course, is from the Unmatched Collection. As always, folks, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.